know why so many people with toenail fungus never get rid of it. Even if they try the best cures, nothing seems to work. Well, their problem is that they wanted a quick fix instead of forming new habits. People will try a little of this and a little of that, and if they don't get results, they think, oh, I guess that just doesn't work for me. Now, you know that you can't make a lasting change in your life unless you change some of your habits. And this isn't any different. That fungus didn't happen overnight and it's going to take a while to get rid of it. But don't worry, I'm going to show you some easy habits that you can incorporate into your daily routine so that without having to think about it so much, you can begin to give your toes the good health that they've been waiting for. And at the end, I'll show you a hack that I'll bet you've never seen before that will keep that fungus from ever coming back. Now, there are two things that you need to accomplish to get rid of that fungus forever. Just two. One is that you must use something to kill the fungus. Really, you've got a lot of choices for this. Some work better than others, but the important thing is that you use them consistently. Some of the options would be tea tree oil or another antifungal oil mixed with a carrier oil, of course. Or you could use peroxide, rubbing alcohol, baking soda, or a number of other things. You can also soak your feet daily in vinegar or in Listerine, but be realistic. Are you going to do it every day? Some people will do that every night while they watch TV. But you need to choose something that will work for you as a habit. I made a video about a few options that you can check out here. The other thing that you must do is to change the environment of your feet and keep it from being a place where fungus can grow. This isn't complicated if you really think about it. Fungus grows in dark, moist places where it has something to feed on. So the more you can keep your feet clean and dry and out of the dark, the better. And I'll talk more about not feeding the fungus in a moment. So I promised you a routine that you can work into your life. Let's start with your daily shower. While you're showering, brush your toes with a nail brush. Or if you don't have a fingernail brush, you can use an old toothbrush. Brush them thoroughly to remove any dirt or lint or dead skin, especially under the nails. This will give the fungus no place to hide. And if your heels are dry and cracked, brush those too. Then, after your shower, dry your feet well with a towel and then use a blow dryer on them for a minute or so until they are completely dry. It's also a good habit to spray a little alcohol on them and let that absorb around the nails. After they're completely dry, apply your chosen remedy to all your toes. Whenever it isn't necessary for you to wear closed shoes, either go barefoot or wear open sandals. If you must wear socks and shoes, wear materials that breathe as much as possible. Use cotton socks rather than acrylic ones to avoid perspiration on your toes. Another important remedy is the sun. UV rays are a fungus killer. Every day, try to expose your feet to the sun for 10 or 15 minutes. And while you're doing that, you can check out more of the videos on my channel, which, by the way, you can subscribe to really easily by clicking down here. Also, there's an easy way to help your immune system fight the fungus. Your immune system works by your blood circulation. Toenail fungus is so common because your toes are farthest from your heart and receive less blood circulation, which is also why they grow so slowly. So to increase your immunity and to stimulate faster growth, do some aerobic exercise every day. Even if it's just a brisk walk or climbing stairs for a few minutes, it'll really help to speed up the whole process. And just one more thing before I give you a quick summary of these habits and my special hack for keeping fungus away. I mentioned earlier about not feeding the fungus. Fungus also feeds on the sugar that's in your bloodstream. This is why it's much more common with those who have high blood sugar levels. But whether or not you're diabetic, we can all benefit from avoiding sugar as much as possible, especially if you want to starve that fungus. So here's a quick summary of your new habits. Every day, number one, when you shower, clean your toes well with a brush and dry them thoroughly with a blow dryer and spray on a little bit of alcohol. Number two, apply your remedy, whichever one you might choose. Number three, Keep your toes exposed as much as possible and use socks and shoes that allow your feet to breathe. Number four, expose your feet to the sun for 10 or 15 minutes a day. Number five, do aerobic exercise to increase your blood circulation. And number six, avoid sugar in your diet. Now, that's not too complicated. And in a short time, you'll be doing all this without thinking. Now, here is a special hack to help cure toenail fungus and keep it from ever returning. 
Simply put a drop of tea tree oil on a couple of cotton balls and at night you can put them in the toe of the shoes that you're going to wear the next day, like this. This will eliminate any fungus in your shoes and prevent more from growing. Just remember to take the cotton out before you put the shoes on. That could be a little uncomfortable. Healthy habits are the key to a healthy future, and I want to help you get there. If you keep watching my videos, you're going to learn how to cooperate with your body's natural ability to heal itself. And you can continue this journey with this next video.